sharing with you guys my LA apartment hunting journey. Um, I feel like the timing of this video is super weird because this was all filmed back in February. I mean, all the apartment hunting videos. I'm in the apartment. I've picked one. I've been wanting to film this video for so long. Things have been getting kind of hectic. I've been pushing it aside and here we are. I'm just like, F it. I'm just gonna do it. Apartment hunting is not super easy right now in this climate. I feel for everyone looking for an apartment right now because one, the prices have been like skyrocketing and on top of that, wages have just been staying the same. You know, it's just not humane at all. I was living in Phoenix with my mom before I moved to LA. I got this marketing job out here in Westlake Village. So I was primarily looking for apartments in the valley. I didn't want a long commute. So before I show you the actual apartments, I do want to share with you a few apartment hunting tips. Number one, I would say is to set your budget and definitely include your utilities and your parking as well. That is a big mistake that I think a lot of people make. They'll say, yeah, okay, realistically, I can spend $1,200 a month on rent. So then they'll get an apartment with friends and their rent will be $1,200 but that doesn't include utilities, which can be an extra $100, and then Wi-Fi, which is another $50, and then your parking space, which can be another $100, you know? So then you end up spending $1,450 on your monthly living expenses when you realistically only wanted to be spending $1,200. You also wanna be considering higher seasonal costs, like heating in the winter or AC in the summer. Utilities can really fluctuate, so that is definitely something else to consider. You want to have enough for first month's rent and security deposit. And then also you want to be figuring out how much will this move actually cost you. This is something that I'm so bad at. A U-Haul just always ends up being way more expensive than I think it is. Try to take all those factors into account when you're setting your budget. Tip number two I would say would be to list your non-negotiables. Do you want direct sunlight all day? Do you want a dishwasher? Do you want washer and dryer in unit? Make a list of your non-negotiables and you want to be disciplined when you're apartment hunting because you may find an apartment that is beautiful, it checks all the boxes, but maybe there is no washer and dryer in unit. Stick to your non-negotiables if they are really that important to you. Okay, tip number three or like step number three would be figuring out what kind of area do you wanna live in. Do you wanna live by the beach, in the city, in a quiet neighborhood? How far are you from Target and Trader Joe's? Like, you know, take into account places that you will probably be visiting weekly. And once you have those three things figured out, you are finally ready to apartment hunt. So I looked primarily on Zillow, apartment com hot pads a little bit but I would say it was mostly on Facebook marketplace because I discovered the beauty and the convenience of ADUs which are I believe accessory dwelling units it's basically when someone has like a back house or guest house for instance this thing was a garage and someone converted it into a studio and then they rent it out I really like the idea of living in an ADU because most of the time with ADUs, Wi-Fi and utilities are included with your monthly rent, which I absolutely love, especially if you are trying to budget and you want to have a specific number that you're paying each month for your living expenses. I pay a single amount and then bam, I'm done. That's something that I find super beneficial because if I was living in an apartment, I would be worried about blasting the AC for too long or the heater for too long or taking too long of a shower. But to know that all of that is included is super, super stress-free. So highly recommend if you haven't considered an ADU in the past. So that being said, most of these places that I'm going to be showing you are accessory dwelling units, but there is one apartment I'm going to be showing you, you know, to like, Mix it up. Okay, and now to the actual apartment hunting, showing you guys what I saw. Because it's been so long, I'm actually gonna be watching these videos with you guys <laughs> so I can like remind myself what they look like. Everything is around 300 to 400 square feet and I saw studios. Apartment number one, the rent was $1,500 a month. Water was included in the utilities, but that's it, not gas or electric. So to make things easier, let's just say it's $150 for utilities, another $50 for Wi-Fi. So in total, although my rent would be $1,500 a month with everything, it would be around $1,700 a month. I set my budget at $1,700 
$1,700 a month. So this was at my budget, at my max. So the apartment had pretty nice floors. They were cool toned, which I was okay with. The windows were kind of facing the landlord's backyard, which is why you'll see that they have this sort of film on it. So there's some sort of privacy. The issue with that is that you would have less sunlight coming in. And then on top of that, like I don't wanna be looking in the backyard of my landlord's house. Like I feel like that's kind of weird. Also, there is no closet there. So they had an Ikea wardrobe there that you'd be putting your clothes in, but I used to have one of those. And let me tell you, not much can fit in there, okay? If you have a lot of clothes like me. All of the kitchen was pretty much lined up against the wall. The appliances were okay. There was stainless steel fridge, a faucet. The one thing that was kind of outdated was the oven. She wasn't pretty cute, but I mean, lots of drawers and stuff for storage, but again, that window looking into the landlord's backyard was kind of weird. The bathroom was all right, pretty small. Um, you know, I just had your standard sink, toilet, the shower was kind of small. Even though it looks like it's enough size, when you consider all of the products that are going to be around you, it's really not that much space for a shower. Some other things to consider that I took notes of, there was no washer and dryer in unit. On top of that, there were windows facing the street. Those were east facing windows, which are, you know, great for morning light, but you probably won't be getting all day light. But it did um, have plentiful street parking as well. Okay, so apartment number two, rent was $17.50 a month, which is above my budget, but all utilities and Wi-Fi are included. And I'm sure looking at this video, you guys are like, hmm, this place looks kind of familiar. It's because I'm living there, okay? So I ended up choosing this apartment, spoiler alert. First thing I noticed was how beautiful everything looked. There were brand new appliances, washer and dryer in unit, the bathroom looked beautiful, brand new flooring. There was a giant wood beam on the top, this natural wood color. There were a lot of drawers for storage. It just looked beautiful. And on top of that, there was this giant flat screen on the wall. And the landlord told me that it, it came with the apartment. Looking at the kitchen, it just looked so pretty. I love the sink, the oven. I absolutely love. Once I saw that bathroom, you guys, I was in love. It had a rain shower. The tile was absolutely beautiful. There was also that like handle thing, you know, like the extra shower head that you can use. There's a whole separate little closet area for the washer and dryer. Also, you see on the ground, there is this like blue thing wrapped in plastic. They also threw in a couch. Also, the closet, which I don't think I showed super well, is so beautifully done. There's a whole like, built-in system, so it holds so much clothing, even though it's just one closet. Also, it's on a really pretty, quiet street. So much street parking, so if I wanted to have someone over, there's no stress. The thing with the windows in this place, too, is that they're south-facing, so I literally get sunlight all day. It is absolutely amazing. So apartment number three, rent came out to $16.50 a month. All utilities included, except wife so I just threw on an extra $50 when budgeting in my head. So in total, this would be $1,700 a month. This apartment ended up being probably the smallest that we looked at and you'll kind of see it in the video. It's just one small rectangle. Apartment number two and apartment number three were newly built so no one had lived there previously. So this kitchen had everything lined up against the wall and also the washer and dryer were right next to the kitchen because this space was so small. Pretty good storage in the kitchen but I wouldn't say there was a ton. There was this tiny corner behind the door where I was assuming my bed would go and also on top of that there was no oven. In. There was just like a flat top on the counter, which I didn't absolutely love because what if I want to bake cookies or cinnamon rolls one day? Then the bathroom, super beautiful. I loved the color of the cabinets, the mirror. I really liked the all white marble, but yeah, I really liked the color of the flooring. I mean, everything in this studio was super well done. All of these places, by the way, have like the pretty much the same AC heater unit. The biggest thing that kind of turned me off from this place was that there's this huge like pile of dirt 
right in front of it. Yeah, so because there's construction going on right in front of the ADU, I was concerned about noise. Also, on top of that, there was no closet in the unit. I would have to get like that same Ikea wardrobe thing. Something that was great about it is that it had south facing windows. So that place definitely gets a lot of sunlight. Aesthetically, it looks beautiful, but because of the construction, because there was no wardrobe or closet situation, and really because there was no oven too, I didn't really love the place, which is why I didn't go with it. Okay, so apartment number four. This is the one that's actually an apartment. This was at a place called Concord Square Apartments. So this one, I definitely didn't do my math before setting up an appointment and going because otherwise like I'd be wasting my time because I definitely could not afford this place. Rent was $1580 a month. When you hear that number, you're like, dang, like that's below budget. Okay, not too bad. But I talked with the person that gave me the tour and she said gas would be around $60 to $70 a month. Electric would be $100 minimum, $50 for Wi-Fi, $30 for trash. On top of that, there's no in-unit washer and dryer, but they do have like a laundry room. If I was washing clothes four times a week, it would be $22 a month. So when taking all of that into account, it comes out, I'm like looking behind my math, it came out to $18.52 a month. My point is that these numbers are going to fluctuate. It could be more like $1,900 a month. So definitely way over budget. As soon as she like told me everything, I was like, dang, I really can't afford this. But I took a look anyways, you know, might as well. Something that was really cool about this place is it had this like nice outdoor area. There was a public pool, which I probably wouldn't use, but I mean, it's nice to have. They had an outdoor grill area. They had this like large green area. And she said people come out there with their dogs all the time and have little play dates. <laughs> It sounded so cute. So once I walked into the apartment, I immediately did not like the color of the floors or the counters or honestly just the look of everything in general. Everything was pretty outdated. And on top of that, it was so hot in there. And even the person that gave me the tour told me, yeah, she personally wouldn't recommend the top floor because it gets so hot. You know, the view was all right, but the thing that I didn't like was it looked directly down below into my bottom neighbor's yard. I'm sure like they would probably be more weirded out by me, but I'm still like, I don't want to look into someone's yard. Like it's just, it's, it's not the ideal view that I would want. But I mean, something nice about this apartment was how big it was. There was so much storage space. I literally could have everything in its own designated spot. The bathroom area was pretty nice. It kind of reminded me of a hotel layout. Like you walk in and then there's a place where you like wash your hands. There's a closet behind you. And then there's another door that leads to the shower and the, and the toilet. I just went to Vegas. So it totally reminded me of that. I mean, not a super terrible apartment for sure, but I would say compared to the other ones, it was very outdated. And we made it to the last one, apartment number five. The rent ended up being $16.50 a month, which really enticed me because guys, I'm, I'm a frugal person. So to hear that it's below budget, I'm like, oh, Whew, I'm ready, you know, give me that tour. As soon as I walked in, I didn't love the floors. <laughs> they were that kind of cool toned wood, which I'm okay with, but just not my favorite. Also pretty small. Honestly, I could arguably say this could have been the smallest one. The kitchen though was tiny. Oh my God, it reminded me of small apartments in Paris or something, cause it had that tiny like European oven. There was one sink. The fridge was kind of small too. Like everything was just small. And yeah, I mean, it was. It was a cute kitchen, honestly, just not enough storage. And then once I walked into the bathroom, the storage was not great. The sink itself was so skinny. It was like right against the wall. I could already imagine when I'm like washing my face or like washing a face mask off, it is going to create such a mess because there's literally no room for any of that to fall. Like it's, it's just gonna fall on the floor. Also the shower was just tiny. I mean, there was this like little bench area where I could sit if I wanted to sit like butt ass naked, like taking a shower. But besides that, that was the only pro. This technically had no like built-in closet. So they had this like Ikea wardrobe, which had lots of space for sure. Honestly, if I was like a minimalist and I didn't have that much stuff, this would be a really cute apartment, but Honestly, on top of that, for $16.50 a month, that is a lot of money. Yeah, I didn't think it was really worth it for the price. I like that there was this like backyard area where you can sit and maybe have a little coffee in the corner. Other things to note, there was street parking and the windows were west facing, which was okay. The apartment was cube overall, just not for me. 
Guys, I had to take a quick break from filming because I forgot I had to hop on a meeting and then I did some work, but those are all of the apartments that I saw. Drum roll, guess which one I picked, but you already know. I picked apartment number two. I've been living here since beginning of March. I do love the space. I have less than a 20 minute drive to work, which is really nice. I just really love the neighborhood. It's safe and I feel like I made a really great decision. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, feel free to do so if you want. I mean, it's free, but I mean, you're also a free person so you can choose to not do that. But yeah, that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.